You know what time it is. It's your boy Hammer Bong and welcome to Hammer Time Cooking. Now we enter my favorite time of the year, soup season. Stay tuned and let's get cooking. When it starts getting cool outside and the leaves start changing colors, you know it's soup season. Today I'll be teaching you how to make one of my favorite soups, Zupa Toscana. Now let's start off with the ingredients. You'll need two stalks of celery, two whole carrots, and one whole onion. You'll need four Yukon Gold potatoes, five cloves of garlic, you can get fresh kale or bagged kale, one pound of Italian sausage, mild or hot, one can of white beans. To keep things simple, we'll use two cans of chicken broth. We'll need one cup of heavy cream or one cup of whole milk as an option. And to thicken up the soup, we'll use some cornstarch. To make any soup, it's all about the food prep, right? So here, I'm just peeling the skin of the carrot. I like to save the skin and use it for a future stock. Now I'm just chopping up the carrot into bite-sized pieces, but you can keep them chunky if you like. I like to keep carrots, celery, and onion always stocked up at the house. That way, anytime I'm ready to make a broth or stock, it's always ready to go. Leave a comment below if you cry when you dice onions. Now I've been told I'm a robot and I don't have feelings, but this is false. My optometrist told me that my tear ducts are dried up and that's why I don't cry. So with the Yukon Gold potatoes, I keep the skin on, but if I were using russet potatoes, I would peel them. Both potatoes work fine, I just had these potatoes on hand today. Here's a great tip. If you don't want your potatoes to oxidize, keep them underwater after you dice them. Here I'm just removing the casing from our Italian sausage. We want to do this that way when we throw it in the pot, it doesn't get all chunky monkey. You can always find Italian sausage that isn't wrapped up in casing. To create the first layer of flavor, we're going to add our pound of sausage. Now, TBH, I didn't know this sausage didn't have that much fat content, so I didn't add extra oil. Now, some parts of the pot is started getting sticky icky, so feel free to add oil before adding the sausage. So this is where the majority of the flavor of the soup comes from. So we're going to brown it up and then you can start smelling the oregano, the basil, and some hammer thyme in it. And it really creates a great aroma in the kitchen. Now we'll remove the sausage from the pot. As you can see, there's some um, leftover oil from our sausage. Now we're going to keep it in there. That way it can flavor up our vegetables. Now we'll add in our mirepoix. You'll be seeing this combination a lot in our soup season series. We'll season our mirepoix with salt and pepper. That way we're continuously adding layers of flavor. Nobody wants to eat hot vegetable water. We'll cook the veggies until the onions are nice and translucent, and then we can add some of our garlic. Just in case you don't know, we're adding the garlic later because it cooks really fast and we don't want it to burn. Now I'm adding the beans to add some extra protein into the soup. Now if you're not a fan of beans, feel free to omit this. To make this soup, we're going to start adding our liquids. We're going to add two cans of chicken broth and two cups of water. Now, if you're interested in making homemade chicken broth or stock, leave it in the comments and I'll have that recipe ready for you. Now let the soup simmer down for 20 minutes. While the soup is simmering on low, we'll drain our potatoes and we'll get ready to toss this into our pot. When throwing in your potatoes, make sure you do it slowly. Don't be like me and burn yourself. Yeesh! No hot vegetable water over here. We're gonna add some more seasoning, some salt and pepper. Just remember, you can always add more salt, but you can't take it back. And now we'll add one cup of heavy cream. Make sure to stir the pot that way it doesn't burn at the bottom. To thicken up our soup, we're gonna make a cornstarch slurry. We're gonna use two tablespoons of cornstarch and add some water. Now you'll just mix it together and you'll throw it into our soup. Allow the soup to boil and then we'll add in our kale. 
allow it to cook for another five minutes, and hell yeah, that's our one pot Zupa Toscana. Now let me tell you, there's nothing better than a hot bowl of soup on a nice cold day. Let's sprinkle in some Parmesan cheese and add some extra black pepper to it. You know what would make this even better? Some bacon. It's all good though. So when you guys make this, make sure you send some pictures my way and I'll for sure repost it for you. Look at that, you can see the cheese melting, you can see the sausage and chunks of potato. I hope y'all don't mind if I take a little taste test. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Let me try it one more for the road, y'all. Yes. Mm. That's the one. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Now don't forget to like, comment, and share with your friends. Welcome very much, and I'll see you soon.